Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun video for you guys today. We are going to be testing out the most viral, popular clothing hacks that I found over on TikTok. I'm going to test these live and give you the real scoop. Are these good or not? Are they worth doing? And go follow me over on TikTok because I am posting there now. I'm trying to post two to three a week. This first one is one of the most popular ones I've seen and I love that it's very simple. I'm not about to do a DIY project that involves sewing or anything complicated. So this one, all you have to do is take a regular tank top, a crop style, and twist it under and you get a whole new look for your crop top. So you just take your top, take one strap and Pull it through. Wait, what did I do wrong? I feel like I did it wrong already. Come on, Brittany, get it together. Take the strap, push it through, pull it out the bottom, like so. Okay, we got it, we got it. Fix it up a little, okay. This is cute, this gave me a new look for my little top. So here's what we're left with, and I have to say, this is quite cute. I like it quite a lot more than a regular boring crop top. You can switch it up. So you basically get two crop tops for the price of one and it takes seconds to do this. This next one I saw and I just had to try it out because it's either going to be amazing or horribly awful. And that is turning your bathing suit bottoms into a bikini top. So you loop it through your arm like so. So then you take this side, put it over your head not awkward at all. And then through the opposite arm. And this becomes one triangle of your bikini top. Okay, wait a second. I'm seeing the vision, I'm seeing the vision. Wait a second. Okay, guys, this actually does work. Okay, check this out. I actually like it. I think it looks cute. It feels quite supportive. And it even looks good from the back which you never know with these things. Like, what does the back look like? And now I just did it with another bottom to mix it up. I like that you can mix and match using bikinis you already have. What I am most surprised by is that this feels very supportive. This one, this lady showed how you could turn a regular cardigan into a cute shrug. So here this is as a cardigan, right? So what she says you do, you put it on backwards, like so. You gather it up and then put your head through. <gasps> and now you have a throw, a little shrug. Okay, this is so cute. I am loving this. All of these are giving you just more uses out of clothing items that you already have. We're on a roll. We're three for three, guys. This next one also is totally viral on TikTok. So it's a great hack if you're someone who works in an office and has to wear a collared shirt, or if you wear the trend of the collared shirt under a sweatshirt or a long top. But you know wearing an actual long sleeve collared shirt is bulky and it looks bulky under your clothes, right? So look what they invented. Genius. Genius. It's just the collar part that you can wear under another top or a sweater or sweatshirt so you get the look of the collar underneath without having the bulk. Well, it's certainly less bulky. Okay, check it out. She's preppy, she's trendy. We're now four for four officially because this is so cool. So this next one is how you can get a look of a cropped sweatshirt without actually having to crop your sweatshirt. And so it doesn't look bulky as well. Take a hair tie, tie one side up, tie the other side, and you're done. No, I'm kidding. Then from here, you tuck. Oh yeah, and now you have the crop without having to cut your sweatshirt. Next little clothing hack that I've actually been doing for years and years and swear by is instead of wearing your perfume on your wrist, on your body, spray your clothes, wear it on your clothes because it's gonna last a lot longer. What makes your perfume break down on your skin are the oils. On your clothing, there's no oil. The other reason I prefer this more is when I've sprayed my clothes with perfume, I can smell myself and I smell amazing and I get to enjoy that fragrance 
all day long. For me, no outfit is complete, no look is complete, even if I'm at home all day. Like I need to smell good. Big thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. And if you have not heard of them, you guys, it's just a no brainer to me because regular full size perfume, I just think is way overpriced. So at Scentbird, they have all of the major perfumes that you could ever want, like name a brand, they're gonna have it. They have high-end brands, they even have a whole section of clean fragrances, they have colognes for men, so any fragrance you could want is on Scentbird, and you can get your deluxe sample size. And when I say deluxe sample size, I mean these last me forever. I have quite the selection and I've never fully gone through one yet. These are eight times larger than those little dinky samples that you can get. So it's more similar to getting a rollerball size fragrance. So my favorite that I have been wearing for the past several months is Vanilla Sky by Skylar. This is a clean fragrance. But now my new one that just came in that I am, oh my goodness, don't think I've ever smelled a better fragrance. Confessions of a Rebel, get a room. The full size of this is $200. If you prefer more of a floral fragrance, this new one by Rachel Zoe, it's called Instinct. It's the best floral. It has jasmine, orange blossom, and bergamot. And actually with my code, which I'm gonna have linked down below in the description box, you can get your first month for $11. The other thing I love about Scentbird that I haven't seen anywhere else is you can go on their website and you take a quiz and you tell them what types of notes you like, what occasion you're shopping for, and it will select different options for you. They also have reviews of all the scents. So if you are a fragrance person, you like to smell good, definitely recommend doing Scentbird. I look forward to it every single month. I'm always trying new things, switching it up. And if you use my code, which is gonna be in the description box, you can get your first month for 30% off. It's gonna to come to $11. So such an amazing deal. Okay, so since I'm in my jeans, I'll share a couple little jeans tricks. The first is to make your jeans a little bit looser. They're feeling snug, uncomfortable. Maybe you've had a big lunch. Maybe you're early in your pregnancy. So what you do is you get your hair tie, regular hair tie, Put it through the loop, the little hole, loop it around, pull through, and then put that on the button. This will give you a lot more breathing room. And I would say for the first you know, 15, 20 weeks of your pregnancy, you can continue to wear your regular jeans using this hack. Now, if your jeans are a little bit too loose and you wanna tighten them up at the waist, this is one of my all-time favorite hacks I found on TikTok. Because what I like to do, I like to get jeans one or two sizes larger. I find jeans are a lot more comfortable where they're not as tight on the crotch. Like that's the area that gets me and why I don't usually like to wear jeans. So the trick is you get these little extra buttons. You can get an eight pack for $8 on Amazon. You just pop it off and you can add a new little buttonhole. Tighten your jeans, snatch them right up on your waist so they fit perfectly. I have my jeans, you got your new little button, it's on a pin, just pick your new spot, pop it in, take the back, that's literally it. That's how easy and fast it is. And now you button it on the new hole. So now it's really nice and secure on my waist, no gaping in the back, and they fit perfectly. These are my most favorite pair of denim shorts that I own. They were too loose here at the waist. You can see there's the big gap in the front and the back. So you can see I have this second little buttonhole and this is where I button it. And now they're nice and fitted at the waist and they're still comfortable. Now they fit, love it so much. Next up is my favorite little cleavage secret. I shared this years and years ago, but it's an oldie but a goodie and one of my most used and most loved. So you get one of these sticky bras, they're like $15. And instead of just putting it right on there like normal, what you do is you place each cup, they're sticky, on the far side and then you pull it together. And it gives you cleavage without having to wear a bra and it will stay there in place. I find this more comfortable than wearing a strapless bra. Here I am with the after. This is without any pushing up going on, pulling everything together nice and secure. These are not going anywhere. So you know the trend right now is for everything to be cropped. You know, my mom told me I can't pull off. She said, Brittany, you're a little too old to be pulling off crop tops and crop sweatshirts. And I said, mom, how dare you, how dare you? But if you are someone who's a fan of the crop style, you need this tool. Found it on TikTok. It's like a pizza cutter for your clothes and it will give you that perfectly straight cut line to make your own crop tops or whatever cropping you wanna do on your clothes very, very easily. So you don't have to mess around with regular scissors. You get that nice, perfect straight line. Okay, this next one involves getting an oversized t-shirt. This is one of Ryan's that I borrowed. Hope he doesn't miss it. Get your cropping tool and cut about eight inches from the bottom of the shirt 
and you can use that to turn into a new shirt. So you're left with a piece of fabric like this. So then what you're supposed to be able to do, put this on, twist over your head, and then you have a cute little top. So here is what I was left with. I think it's quite cute. I think it works more as like a bathing suit style top. I would never wear a shirt this tiny anywhere, but maybe to the beach or the pool or something. I think it looks nice. However, doesn't feel the most secure. I would be slightly worried about something popping out. This next one is very simple, but I had never seen this particular way to do it. So if you're wearing just a regular t-shirt, it's a little loose, you wanna do it up somehow. Instead of just tying it in the front like this, what you do is you put it through your belt loophole, pull it through, pull it through, and then wrap it around. As I was getting this black top on, I just realized I got a deodorant stain and that reminded me of another clothing hack. This little gadget, it's a special sponge I got from Amazon, super cheap. This is a deodorant eraser. It will get any deodorant stain off of your clothing. Here's exhibit A, our deodorant stain right here. Totally gone in like 10 seconds, doesn't ruin or damage your clothes at all. Love it, just a handy little gadget. So those are some of my favorite clothing hacks that I found over on TikTok. I would say the vast majority of them ended up being really good and legit. So I'm pleasantly surprised. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Also, don't forget to go check out Scentbird. I'm gonna have the link in the description box. You can get your first month for just $11. Pick up any perfume in the world that you've always wanted to try. My favorite one again is the Confessions of a Rebel. Get a room. Ooh, it's good. Thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Thank you all for watching as always, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Hon, what happened to my shirt? This is my favorite shirt. Ah! Must have shrunk it in the wash. It's kind of a look. Crop tops are very in right now. I think you're pulling it off. You're right. Pulling it off. <laughs> well, I gotta go to the grocery store, so if you need me? Um, I'm good. Alright.